Hola muchachos, welcome here! We did so good! Today is the coffee day because it is a full day and then a full couple of days coming up. Today's video, I'm going to be thrifting my Pinterest wardrobe. I'm gonna need coffee to just get through the next couple of days. I didn't really jump into the whole Pinterest thing until maybe like a handful of months ago and I went on and I was like, this is awesome. That was such a lame snap. Oh man, hold on, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> I understand why people really like it and lean towards it and then I thought there's a lot of potential here for a YouTube video and someone many people got here before me I'm thinking of Emily Faith as well as Delilah from Lepke's Life I know a lot of people have done this kind of video, but I'm specifically thinking about them So I thought it was very cool the idea of getting inspiration from a Pinterest board and then going out to your local thrift store and seeing what you can find secondhand sustainably and ethically absolutely amazing and then on top of that you're saving yourself so much money and the challenge is awesome. I love that thrift store challenge. I've already gone through my Pinterest board and seen what I like, see what I don't like, and I'm gonna go over that with you guys here. We'll do that pretty much right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go through that. I'm gonna kind of prep my mind for what I need to get tomorrow, write out a list, and then tomorrow we be thrift shopping, and then we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got, uh, things that I was not able to find, and maybe like a try on photo shoot portion. So I hope you guys like today's video, so if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start here, brown pants. I'm just seeing brown pants everywhere, but I'm kind of looking for like some specific brown pants. I'm looking for something with a little bit of a wider leg, almost like, does anyone remember like clots growing up? I think they were called clots, but they were just kind of like that really wide leg pant. I am hugely looking for that. I love these and I love the color of those. So I'm looking for something that's kind of looking tailored, but still very wide leg and like flowy something really cool and I'm also looking for something that is a brown pant I can even do black I don't even mind like an orange but something that's a little more tailored and high-waisted like kind of almost exactly like these pants right here or like this like it's kind of like that dress pant business chic casual you know and I do want it to have belt loops because the next thing I'm looking for let me find it is some nice belts if you're gonna get a belt Belt. Don't buy it brand new get it from the thrift store. I'm just seeing so many of these high-waisted kind of office like pants with a big belt So I'm looking for more of like a brown one I don't know if I want something more warm or more cool, but I am looking for like a true brown color I don't want it to be a silver buckle I want it to be either brass or gold because that's my coloring or even just overall brown but I'm just I see it everywhere and I think it's so cute so that and what I'm noticing with all these type of kind of high-waisted pants with a buckle is they're all wearing either a very loose kind of flowy shirt or I love this a white kind of tight fitted turtleneck so I'm looking for a white turtleneck and I'm looking for like button down thermals I think I will easily be able to find a turtleneck I just you can find them anywhere at a thrift store but I think the thermals are a little bit trickier but we'll see what we can do I'm looking for either short sleeve or long sleeve uh, for the turtleneck and for that kind of thermal like if I can find like a thermal tank top with buttons I think that'd be really cool moving on I'm looking just for a really big oversized hoodie not a hoodie a sweatshirt I see a lot of people just with that big oversized sweatshirt wearing it with like leggings or shorts or biker shorts and I think it's really cute they're all either like white or neutral and I'm down for that so I want to see if I can find something like that I don't want anything with like a Nike symbol or Adidas because I don't support those brands so I really wouldn't buy it even if it was thrifted and display it on my body just because I don't like those 
brands. But I can see if I could find something along those lines, kind of cute, something written on it or like a picture. You know what I mean. Looking for that. Also, I want to see if I can find some sort of a jacket. So there's like corduroy everywhere right now and everyone is obsessed with corduroy jackets. So I want to see if I can find either like a corduroy jacket or a jean jacket. I'm still seeing the jean jacket everywhere and if I can find one with like a corduroy collar or like that faux sheep collar, I am so down. I think it'd be really cute and comfortable. I would love to find something like that. The jean can be black too, cause this is kind of cute. Okay, okay, going back, that kind of white turtleneck look, you know what I mean? It's just cute. I really like the look of it. It's very feminine and dainty. And I think turtlenecks look really nice with like my crazy <laughs> short hair, cause my neck is just so exposed. So exposed. We are also looking at finding some sort of a corduroy skirt. I think corduroy skirts are very, very cute. I think they're so fall and so cozy. And if I can find a black one, a brown one, a green one, like I'm down. I want it to be a little bit more mini, not really short, but I don't want like a long corduroy skirt. A lot of homeschool moms I grew up uh, had those corduroy skirts and I just don't want to be that. <laughs> it's just, I don't want to be that. I want to be my own. So something along those lines. Also looking for a pair of like black jean-ish, look, I, I put that down twice. I must have really liked this. Jean-ish pants. I don't want them to be full on jeans. I'm looking for like a black jean-esque kind of washed out jogger. I don't want it to be like a sweat pant, but I don't want it to be a full on jean. And I kind of want it to be a little washed out, like something just kind of like a trouser black jogger pant. We'll see if we can find that. I do want to see if I can find like a black or like nude slip. Where are you? Just to wear over an outfit I think is cute or to wear under one for like more or I guess less visibility through an outfit because so many things are made so thin nowadays. So I also want to see if I can find some sort of a slip. Kind of weird to get at a thrift store, but you'd be surprised you can find some cute slips there. Anyway, oh, lastly, I want to see if I can find some cute graphic tees as well as some midi skirts. I'm just seeing some cute graphic tee midi skirt combos, especially this one. I find it kind of easy to find graphic tees at a thrift store, so it should not be too hard. This is another one of those kind of midi skirts. I, do I need a midi skirt? No, not really, but I wouldn't mind the hunt to find one because I think they're just really beautiful in the fall time. And there's another one that's like so cute. So this is my list. This is what I'm looking for. I want you guys to come along with me tomorrow. We be thrifting and oh, I hope this works out well. like a bunch of stuff that I was specifically looking for. I'm gonna start with like the first outfit and then the second outfit and then just the random pieces I got that'll just be nice to have. You guys are gonna be pretty excited about this. Okay, with every outfit I show afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys pictures of myself wearing it, kind of like hopefully Pinteresty looking pictures, which I'll later post on my Instagram and you should follow me and I can link it down below. Okay, but first, guys, we found them. I found a pair of wool pants from Zara. They're made in Morocco. They're an extra small and they are as high waisted as it gets. Like they literally come up to here on me. It's crazy. They're wool. They're so soft and they are that dressy casual kind of like I work in an office pant. They have the pleating or I guess like the ironed out lines in the front and the back. They are so soft. I think I paid five dollars for these and to top it all off it does have belt loops so we're able to feed a nice belt through it. It did come 
with this belt, which is that same wool material, but I think I want to have a little bit more of a like contrasting look. So I got another belt. Before I show you that belt, I'll first show you that I did find a white turtleneck. I wasn't surprised that I found this. I find turtlenecks are something that is very easily come by at a thrift store. I wouldn't say people are anti-turtleneck, but I don't think enough people are open to the turtleneck. But this one is white and it's really soft. I almost think it might be from the kids section because it's very small. Like it's very, very small. The sleeves are short, but I'm a smaller person. It's really stretchy though. Like there is a lot of stretch here. So this with the wool pants and then I found a sweet kind of warm brown stamped belt. It is real leather. It says real leather made in England, 1655. I don't think that's when it was made. I think maybe that's when the company started, but it is gold buckles and it's just sweet. So that's my first outfit. With the pants, $5, the shirt was $3 and the buckle, the buckle, the belt was 50 cents. This is a pretty flippin' affordable outfit. Also, I didn't thrift shoes because I honestly don't really need any more shoes and everything was washed yesterday when I came home. Just so you know. We have another solid pair of pants here. These are also by Zara. Yo! Made in Turkey? These, come on guys, were these not the pants that I talked about? Were these not just everything that I was like, I just want them kind of like loose, kind of cloths. I want them more of a true brown. What the heck? These are cool. They are high-waisted. They have this nice big button right here, which will be covered by the other belt that I found. But they're, they're an extra small. Yeah, it's, it's like someone was like, you know what? Sarah's probably doing a thrifting video. We should give her our pants so she can thrift them at the thrift store and then she can wear them. Like, that's what I'm I'm feeling like right now. These are really, really cool. They naturally wrinkle like crazy. So we're gonna have butt wrinkles because my butt sweats like it's pretty gross. But I got these and the pleating on the front is way cool. And another belt. This one is cool. I do not think this one's real leather, but still it was 50 cents. I'm not mad about it. The pants were $6. But again, it's like that warm brown and it has a gold brass buckle. It's just cute. This should work real nice with those pants and then found this this is so cute so this is pretty much exactly what i was looking for backwards you can't really tell but that was backward it's a white turtleneck and it's like ribbed and really stretchy it's quite a cool looking white which i'm not mad about i wish it was a little bit more warm tone but like it'll get dirty it'll get warm you know what i mean this is gonna be a cute outfit like this I just, and like Burks or something, or like my, my Chelsea boots, like, oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's just say right now, I was not able to find proper graphic tees. I found some, but not the ones I was specifically looking for, but I saw this as like a Instagram picture moment when you see what the tees say. I also was not able to find a corduroy kind of jacket that I liked. A lot of them were very pastel and I was looking for more like a jade color or a warm color, so that didn't work, but I did find a jean jacket with a faux sheep collar. This is by Thread and Supply, and I guess maybe it's more expensive brand because it was priced at $12 at my thrift store, but it's really cute. Kieran is like, you're like one of those early 2000 moms. And I was like, really? I don't know. I don't remember people wearing things like this in the early 2000s, but I don't remember a lot of what happened in the early 2000s. It's cute. Like, I feel like it's like a look. I just want to go like the pumpkin patch with my kids, we'll walk around, I'll have this on. It's really warm. It fits me well. I'm excited about this. Like, I don't even mind looking like an early 2000s mom if I can look like this. So I was pretty stoked about this. I would still love to find more of a corduroy jacket, but I'm, I'm not bashing this. This is cute. Speaking of corduroy, I did find a corduroy skirt. This is by the brand Twix. I think this was $4. It's not as short as you think it would be because like I'm a short person. I'm 5'4", five, 5'3", five, so like this comes like an inch and a half above my knee. Like I probably wouldn't wear it like this to be honest. I'd wear it more like this. 
just kind of have like a loose baggy tee or something. It's a small, probably would have preferred an extra small, but we're at a thrift store, you can't really do much about that. It has brass buttons in the front, two pockets, and again, that like pumpkin patch cozy feel. And I have seen all the time on my Instagram these sponsored posts about the tights, like the really thin see-through tights. I can't think of what they're called right now, but they don't rip. Like people were like putting nails in their tights and they weren't ripping. Like they're supposed to be amazing. So like this with a pair of tights, I see potential here. I just, wow, the sun's coming out. This is good. I just think it would be really, really cute. Focusing, hello. And again, $4. recently talked about the graphic tees not really working. Let's just show you guys. So I also couldn't find any slips. Forgot about that. Couldn't find any slips, which I, I was surprised. Usually I find like tons of slips, but not this time. I found this shirt, which says plant lady, which I am. I have plants all over my house. I have finally realized how to keep, sun is coming out again. <laughs> it's getting brutal. I have finally found how to just keep plants alive. And I'm honest, I'm very thankful to the Lord that I've been able to do so. It's quite a fulfilling thing to do, like not gonna lie. So. I saw this and I was like, it says plant lady. Even if I just take a sweet photo with it for Instagram and then re-donate it to the same thrift store, which is what I do a lot. A lot of people are like, you get clothes all the time. How do you keep a capsule wardrobe? Because I do. I literally get so many clothes from brands and I love doing thrifting videos for you guys. So I continually donate clothes to the women's shelter or to the same thrift store. So I'm buying it from a thrift store, almost like I'm renting it and then I give it back to them. It actually works really well. But I got this one that says plant lady. I thought cute for a photo, holding some plants, hugging my pothos, something like that. Wasn't the type of graphic tee I was looking for. I was looking for more along the lines of like, ugh, like a band tee or something, or like a kind of like souvenir looking tee. But I did find this one which, which says, <laughs> I found this one which says black, is my happy color, which honestly, it's not my happy color, but I thought this would be interesting to have <laughs> or to like as a workout tee or to take a picture in and again, donate it back to that same thrift store. That's all I got for graphic tees. I was kind of disappointed because even, I feel like I said before, graphic tees are just so easy to find at a thrift store. But I gotta say, I've never seen so many young people in a thrift store before. There was tons and I was like, <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Like, what the heck? And just so many young people shop at thrift stores now and it is cool but that means I don't get all the cool stuff <laughs> okay I have two more items guys like we hit jackpot here I got these pants are by Elia Petite and I think it's in a size small but you know when I said I wanted those jeanish looking pants that were not jeans but joggers I pretty much scored that it has an elastic band up top it does kind of have like that faux zipper thing here and then they're just they're just pants like they're so comfy this is gonna be so cute with like a white shirt and gold jewelry I'm very 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 thrilled about these and I believe I paid four dollars for these and they do have pockets there's nothing worse than buying jeans and realizing they're all fake pockets Honestly, I'd rather have fake pockets than teeny tiny ridiculous size pockets. Like, that makes me mad. Those teeny tiny pockets, like, why do you think that's okay to do? Okay, cue the jeans. I have one more thing to show you. I... I did, but I didn't. And I know that I'm going to definitely donate this back after a photo, the photos I'm gonna show you guys here because it's way too big. I did go for that huge oversized sweatshirt, but the arms are way too long. Like they Michelin man on me, like they just like, it looks crazy. But it's this big hoodie, it says mother in gold, kind of fantastic. I'm actually really excited to take a picture in this because the font and everything, I was like, Ooh, this is sweet. Actually, I wonder if my sister would like this because pretty sure her arms are like six inches longer than mine. She has good sized arms. Me, I do not know. 
Anyway, it says mother. The idea of pairing this with like leggings and booties or like biker shorts because like this does cover my butt. Just cute. I was looking for something more of like a university kind of sweatshirt. Like, you know, like the university I've never gone to. I've only gone to college, but they didn't have merch. So that's why I didn't buy any. But I did see one sweatshirt that had Trinity Western University on it. And I was like, cool, Trinity Western. Not like all the people that go to Trinity believe in the Trinity. But anyway, I saw a bunch of them, but they were all like, small medium and I was like no I'm looking for like a large extra large so I passed but here's some photos of me being a mother with my mother sweatshirt I didn't record an outro for you guys I was editing this and I went oh that's what I forgot so here we are thank you for watching this thrift video any other thrift ideas you have for some future videos please let a girl know down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.